I don't know if I told you the story, Serena, but one time a furry saved my life. <laughs> Tell um, me everything yeah. right now. So I went to my first rave ever, right? And I had no idea that, like, it gets that hot. Uh-huh. And so I was, shall we say, drinking a drink. I was in the middle of people for, like, three hours, and I didn't realize I was getting super dehydrated. And it was really, really hot. I was, like, 92 degrees. And uh, I almost fainted. I started feeling dizzy. And the next thing I next thing I knew, I woke up, there was a furry standing over me in a orange tiger costume. Like Tony the Tiger. Yes, kind of like Tony, kind of like Tony, a little bit like Tony. And and he gave me a wet wipe and like a bottle of water and I was like, "Thank you." And then <laughs> and then he left and I was like, "Oh, okay. Well, that was a spiritual experience, you know?" What a fucking hero. I know, right? <laughs> anyway, that's the that's the story, and so I'm forever indebted to the furries, and I, I have to I have to pay them back in a myriad of ways. I'm pretty sure that was like God speaking to me through a furry. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I'm pretty sure, like that was that was my moment. You know? I'm picturing you on the fucking ground, like free. <laughs> yeah. And then like the rave lights behind him all turn this beautiful bright, like yellow and white. As he carries you yeah. to the medical tent. Gives me a wet wipe and a bottle of water and leaves. Doesn't say anything. Probably is hotter in that suit than I am. What a fucking hero. I know, what right? A hero. wolf girl and was like, I can't, I can't leave I her. I can't like leave her behind. I can't leave one of us behind. She's got ears just like me. Just like me. <sighs>